This is the story of the longest road in the world. Stop fighting kids! Si no dejan de pelear, no voy a parar en el viaje. ¿Cuánto dura el viaje? Sin ninguna parada, 10 days. Once, it was only an idea, and most people called the idea a foolish one. This suggestion was first made at the 5th International Conference of the American Republics. That conference was held in Chile in 1923. Más nos vamos a demorar. ¿Cuánto falta? ¿Cuánto falta? ¿Cuánto falta? They didn't dare be too definite in their statement, for there was a stretch of land which they were most uncertain about. It was known as the impassable jungle. Papi, yo me está, me está tocando el oído. Johan, stop touching your sister's ear. Papi, Johan me está tocando. Brazo. Johan, deja de molestar a tu hermana o te dejaré en The Impossible Jungle. ¿Cómo podemos pasar The Impossible Jungle? No one knows. So now it is believed and hoped that where one man could go, others can follow. The highway through even this jungle will probably be laid out. Papi, ¿cómo pasamos? The impossible jungle. No one knows. Niños, les dije que hicieran pipí antes de salir de Quito. All right, voy a parar. Pero apúrense. Ya, vamos, vamos, rápido, rápido, vamos. The people of South America were becoming more and more neighborly. Now, neighborliness was one of the first words men had used when they began planning the Pan American Highway. Stop bullying your sister! She started it! She started it five days ago! Pero tú lo hoy. Stop it now! But with the outbreak of war in Europe, the highway link between the continents would be important for another reason. That reason was defense. Stop it now, or we're going to Alaska immediately! The people of America have a right to be proud. The main route through North, Central and South America will cover thousands of miles. 